Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. It's a podcast bonus. Hey, everybody, it's Friday. What does it mean? End of the week, look back what it was, what it is, what we did, what we did it. End of the week, you're getting out of bed with your alarm ringing at your head instead of getting ready for the weekend. Hey! Let's go through the week. Little bit of Brownie, little bit of Chrissy. Somewhere in between, there's hang that's all free. Cheek, cheek, time to celebrate. It's Friday. All right, let's go. On Monday, Kate Langbrook was on the show and we talked about a new television program, My Mum, Your Dad. There's a beautiful woman on the show. I love her and I love her son, Sam. Her name's Mel. She was married for 28 years. Yeah. Oh, and she was cheated on mm. oh. for 28 years. Wow. Whoa. Now, I just Where's defy... Where's she was consistent? <laughs> <laughs> Tom Gleisner was in to talk about the final show of Have You Been Paying Attention for 2022. The Queen's Queen's death and uh, Britney Spears' uh, first husband showing up at her wedding. I think they're, they're probably right. the two. <laughs> the two See, I've forgotten that gone, too. That gone. was amazing. Is it just me? Is it just me? Or Britney this year seems to be lacking the steady hand of a conservator. <laughs> 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 you know, there's no. the... This week is the first week of the We're Moving, so we'll rip everything out of the studios apart from the microphones and throw in some walkie-talkies. Month of the show. Anyway, uh, it sounds about as good as me trying to explain what's happening. Uh, have a listen. Hey, how was the Jackie? evening, Jack? How was it, brother? <laughs> it was so good. Like, I, I feel bad taking it because you can't even get tickets anymore. But for everyone that's got tickets, you're in for a treat. You sound, I, I cannot believe sounds, what I'm hearing. Sounds drunk. drunk. Yeah. Sounds really drunk or like a ransom Just voice. for our listeners too, by the way, Jack is, you know how he, when we normally talk to him, he just gets on the mic and we talk mm-hmm. to him. He's a metre away. That's what he sounds like. Everything's been, un- everything's been can unplugged you, can you say the in words, this uh, Give us a million dollars if you want to see your kid again. Give me a million dollars if you want to see your child again. Oh yes. My God, that's terrifying. That's true. Also, that's terrifying. no deal. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> how was it? Higher. <laughs> Sam reminded us about the blood moon. You might want to turn your eyes and your gaze to the stars tonight because um, there's a blood moon eclipse uh, tonight. And uh, blood moon, of course, what you had after the marathon. Mm. You ended up in hospital, but... <laughs> Blue moon, you saw me standing alone. We talked about one of Sam's past relationships. Lydia Thorpe, of course. Green Senator Lydia Thorpe. Your ex-girlfriend. Your ex-girlfriend. Yeah, well, she was... She, yes, my ex-girlfriend. Mm. And all from grade five. And uh, also, um, <laughs> she she was in trouble recently, of course, for uh, failing to disclose a relationship we had with Rebel, ex-bikey uh, Rebels president, uh, Dean Martin. So all I'll say is, she likes a bad thing. <laughs> we then talked about the possibilities of them getting back together. Lydia yeah, gets an email. an email. Ding. It says Sam Pang. What's in the subject line? What does line? it say? Remember me? <laughs> bad boy number one. <laughs> Brownie noticed an article that was in the papers today. As he will just say right now. It's in the papers today. Okay. The article was the latest contestant in Love Island. Uh, as a particular type, she likes AFL footballers because she uh, revealed that she's slept with over 10 AFL footballers. Oh, who hasn't? So, there you this go. This is the time for what, Summer John. Uh, she's back, she's in, the, back, no back in the game. <laughs> We're genuine friends on this show. And to prove it, we started talking about organ donation. Would you give me a kidney? Uh... Well, my footy career's finished. I've got Have two you got both of them? I've got two of them. Yeah, if so I needed I, one, would I you give me one? I one. Well, you mightn't be the same blood type. No, I don't care. <laughs> but don't, 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 that's just semantics. I'll take either of your kidneys. But the way you've been at home lately, I don't want your liver. <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned the egg incident with the king. King Charles and Camilla have had eggs thrown them by a lone protester. They hurt. Um, none of the projectiles struck the couple. Oh, good. The lone protester was heard shouting, Your son and I are married. We love each other. When will you accept me as part of the family? 
So, wow. <laughs> wow, indeed, Sam. And, of course, to finish up, we had an air check yesterday with PD extraordinaire Bradley Dan, and he summed up exactly what this show is. I like to think of this show when I put it together back in the <laughs> 80s. Yeah. It was like a Suey me and Milne the, Milne the cup. Mm. And I like to think of Dino as the cup. Yes. Brownie, you're the noodles. Strong yeah. and tall. You do Thank go to, you, you do go soft when you get in hot water. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> your backside falls apart. But, uh, Chrissy, you're the uh, you're the hotness. You're the water, yeah? Right, yeah. Uh, you're the uh, little satchel of MSG. That, yeah. <laughs> well, that's it from me. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'm out of here. Bye! The show will be back tomorrow. Chrissy, Sam, and Brownie. Oh, unless it's a weekend. Over 100.